NASA, together with the well-known Lonely Planet Publishing House, has launched the travel guide, The Universe. In this not-so-serious but still impressive travel guide, Universe fans will find the greatest spots, the most beautiful planets, and of course, like in any other Lonely Planet book, the places you'd better avoid. Today we take a look at six planets in the known universe which every cosmic travel guide would warn you about. In expert circles, as well as among quite normal fans of astronomy, these planets are called simply Hell Worlds. A visit to these worlds would kill you immediately, and already the proximity to the planets would be murderous. Hellishly hot temperatures would burn you instantly. Infinite radiation would shred your DNA in seconds, or a nearby neutron star would contaminate your tissues with radiation to such an extent that your journey through the vastness of the cosmos would surely end at that location. K2-141b We start this horror trip through the universe with a planet, which has the inconspicuous name K2-141b. The name somehow sounds like endless planet lists, and just as if this planet is nothing special, nobody bothered to give it a really nice and distinctive name. In an honest guestbook about the cosmos, would find behind the casual-sounding name, very likely, nevertheless, a small note, Horror World. But in fact, K2-141b has an unofficial byname, which in a way says what is programmed here. The planet is occasionally described as Lava World. If you've ever been to Hawaii and watched with fascination the lava flows hissing into the sea, you might still think of Lava World as a nice trip. If it weren't for the word world, which reveals that this is not a picturesque tropical paradise with lava flows that attract the public. No, this is a bubbling and hellishly hot lava ocean that covers half the planet. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Nanu, only half? What about the other half? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. But we can already tell you that you certainly don't want to pitch your tent there either. The exoplanet, which is about 200 light years away, was discovered in 2018 and initially the discovery was classified as an Earth-like planet. It wasn't until the closer looks and studies that it was revealed that K2-141b is anything but a lovely blue planet. A study published in November 2020 showed a fairly accurate picture of this world that truly no one would want to travel to. The international experts concluded that K2-141b is a hot lava world on the side facing its star and a cold, barren, toxic, and eternally dark world on the far side. The dark side of the planet consists of a hot magma ocean, supersonic winds at speeds of more than 5,000 kilometers per hour transform the ocean into a churning sea of boiling hot rock. Like the moon, K2-141b has a bound orbit. On one side, it's always day, and on the other, there is eternal night. Much like we imagine hell, one side is a hot soup that would burn everyone and everything instantly. The other side of hell is freezing cold and eternally dark. At the transition zones, toxic rock vapors constantly rise, creating an atmosphere that would instantly cauterize any human lung. Well, do you feel like going on vacation? Or rather not? WASP-121b About 855 light years away, there is an exoplanet with another very inconspicuous sounding name. WASP-121b WASP-121b surprised the world of science by finding large amounts of water. Should this finally be the long-awaited lovely water world, which could someday become a second Earth in the vastness of space, or which would even be inhabited by lovely creatures? No, that didn't quite work out here either. For soon there were indications in the planet's water cycle of processes that could be lethal. WASP-121b 
is also tightly bound to its star, which means that only one side of the world faces the star, while the other lingers in perpetual darkness. The daytime side of WASP-121b gets as hot as 3,000 degrees Celsius. This causes water molecules on the exoplanet to break down into their atomic components of hydrogen and oxygen. On the night side too, temperatures of 1,500 degrees Celsius are not exactly inviting for a vacation, and this strong difference in temperature between the two hemispheres has a devastating effect on the flow of air in the atmosphere, just as it did on the predecessor planet. The winds of WASP-121b blow horizontally and at incredible speeds from west to east. If the atoms in hydrogen and oxygen move from the day side to the night side, they are turned back into water, or rather, into incredibly hot water vapor. The water swirls once over the dark side of the planet, only to decay back into atoms at the transition zones and disappear. All in all, WASP-121b resembles Jupiter. It is much larger than our Earth, but orbits its star much closer than our Jupiter does. In February 2021, a group of researchers published an extended paper on this fascinating planet. It was the first time scientists had been able to track the complete water cycle on an exoplanet. But WASP-121b apparently has other special features not found like this on every cosmic corner. Iron, magnesium, chromium, and vanadium turned out to be present in the clouds of the night sky. Apparently, the metals condense out in the clouds. So, the winds whip clouds of razor-sharp metal particles across the planet. Some of the metal compounds might even produce gemstones. This would mean that in this world, depending on the weather, the sky would hang full of diamonds and it would occasionally rain rubies. 55 Kenkri E Researchers using the Spitzer Space Telescope have managed to identify another horror world. 55 Cancri is about twice as wide as our Earth. Despite the similarity, 55 Cancri E does not have what it takes to be a lovely travel planet of the future, because this planet also exhibits extreme temperature fluctuations. Again, we are dealing with a world whose orbit is tightly bound to its star. While one side sizzles and lava glows, the other side is cold, very dusty, and full of radiation. Because of its proximity to its star, 55 Cancri E receives so much radiation that even the night side is so contaminated that no life form would stand a chance here. Extreme winds from 55 Cancri would also simply blow away all material phenomena on the planet's surface. Despite this inhospitability, the planet is very interesting for researchers and a fixed observation period by the new James Webb Space Telescope is already planned. The new super telescope will closely study the planet, which is only 50 light years away with its infrared spectrometers, and then we will surely learn more exciting details about this horror world. PSR J1719-1438b The planet PSR J1719-1438b has the nickname Diamond. At first, this sounds really tempting, but visiting this planet, which is extremely close to a neutron star, would not be possible even with the best spaceships and safest spacesuits. Neutron stars are dead stars, or they're extremely radiating and fast-rotating remnants. Either PSR J1719-1438b survived the demise of its star, or the unfortunate planet was bound forever to the dead star by its extreme gravitational pull only after the death of the star. PSR J1719-1438b is literally grilled with X-rays by its neutron star. Because of the extreme gravitation, the interior of the planet is said to have turned into a diamond. But to stop by and admire the diamond is not possible because the radiation penetrates matter without any problems and would shred human DNA immediately. WASP-12b WASP-12b is called the cannibalism victim in expert circles. Here, 
we have thus again a genuine horror world. The poor planet is eaten up straight by its sun. Due to the extreme gravity, WASP-12b has already been squeezed by its star like a soft egg. So, at about 600 light years from Earth, a true cosmic drama is unfolding. Why the planet got so close to its star is currently still a mystery. The only thing that is clear is that the star will slowly slurp up the planet in a process that will take several million years. This all sounds terrible, but it's a real treat for researchers. For the first time, they will be able to watch such a cannibalistic act live in the cosmos. Phobiter, Draugr, and Poltergeist To conclude this list of horror planets, we have a trio known as the Zombie Planets. Phobiter, Draugr, and Poltergeist are extremely close to a pulsar called PSR B1257-12. This rotates around itself 161 times per second, emitting extremely high levels of radiation. The pulsar was given the nickname Lich. In English Gaelic mythology, these are entities that emerge from the dead in a manner similar to zombies. However, a lich possesses magical properties and intelligence and is not, like ordinary zombies, only hollow-headed after the living and the next meat meal. Phobiter is the Greek god of terror. Draugr is an undead figure from Norse mythology, and we probably don't even need to explain poltergeist to anyone. All in all, these four make up such a sad picture that hardly anyone would want to stop by here. And it's not only that the radiation here is really murderous, the three are also worlds of eternal darkness and cold. If we were to conquer space one day, the area where the zombie team is located would probably have more warning signs than Area 51. For all matter that would even come close to these radiation hotspots, would be subjected to such extreme forces that it would immediately be deformed and shredded into its component parts. Even with this system, it's not entirely clear whether the zombie planets survived the demise of their star. They could also have formed from dust debris after the supernova explosion. Planet formation after the death of a star would be another fascination of the universe. The third possible variant is that Phobiter, Draugr, and Poltergeist were attracted to the Pulsar. Either the Pulsar mops the planets from another system, or the three were vagabond planets which were not bound to any star until they met the demonic Lich. Well, what do you have to say about these worlds now? Are they really a horror? Or do you rather say, that's nothing, I've seen worse? Tell us what you think, share your ideas on the topic, and join discussions in the comments. We welcome all contributions from our viewers and hope you had a great time. We'll see you next time at Simply Space.